by CNN gas in Hong Kong. Um, the anchor lady called uh, uh, Christy Stewart. She covered many issues of China. We talk about the internet issues of, about China. That's my my one of my top topic for years. Mm -hmm. Of course, they set up a very interesting tea table, a Chinese style tea table, like the you know, traditional Beijing you know, tea house. So several of us, they are sharing how citizen society could be civil society could be built up. You know, based on the you know segmental distributed internet culture. So I shared my point on how those creative, you know, works has been emerged. Thousands of them, you know, emerge on China internet because uh, of those people. They found a chance to publish their creations on the internet based on their social media. So they build up their social reputation, social credit on those kind of uh, channels and mm -hmm. the censors cannot stop them because uh, the funny thing is the censors can stop Weibo but they cannot stop Twitter because uh, they block Twitter. So this is the dictatorship dilemma. And the Twitter content returned to Weibo, Weibo by those people scale the Great Firewall. So, I mean, it gives people a very interesting opportunity in the internet age, in the social media age, mm -hmm. that no any content were born in inequality. <laughs> they all have the chance to be, to be you know, give, given birth. I mean, the given birth is the first thing I think we have reached. But the next thing is how to distribute them, how to share them. That's still a big, big concern and issue in the world. And now challenging the civil society, challenging the liberty of everything. Because yeah, the government, the group, interest groups, they got more power as well on the internet. They can control the infrastructure. They can control the, the 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 distribution channels, and the main groups, the the commercial groups and the political groups. They have more, I mean, uh, advantages than the civil society now to try to um, make the internet being a. Uh, reverted back to other like other traditional resources mm -hmm. to be a top down structure so this violate my personal kind of um, will of the future of human being I, i'm so bothered after especially after snowden yeah, you know what? What Snowden and me has a very good crossing in Hong Kong as well, because the same period he escaped Hong Kong, he seek a um, place to be uh, pacified. And then I was staying in the same hotel that 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 period of time because uh, it's a summer vacation. My daughter, yeah being here with me yeah, to tour around, I took her. So we stayed at the same hotel at that moment. So it's interesting that, and I was shocked that how the government in US behaved to showcase and, and a bad practice, a worst practice, you know, that the government can never any no any government can really do for the long stake of internet we expect it yeah and 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 the and if they cannot do this align their goals together with civil society they will i mean inexorably become the enemy of internet the future of internet and this proved true again based on snowden's case so that's why I think 
also Snowden showcase case showcase you know other governments oh don't blame us you know you have no rights to blame us nobody can blame anyone else because you are doing the similar thing you know to control internet to monitor people and and surveillance you know the freedom of information yeah so that that's why I'm bothered I think there must be some ways I misplaced that I didn't do something right to keep track of this kind of uh, danger and the risk I try to fight with internet freedom in China for many years. Uh, we found that China is China authority is not the only enemy of internet. Eventually, that that's ridiculous to me because uh, I thought there's only one thing we love to do is trying to def de defeat the great firewall system. Then the whole world become <laughs> free. This, this funny. So eventually, I seek more universal solutions, and I think something we need to change from people's mentality, not only uh, from tackling one regional issues, is a global is issue that all our human being will will face.